<laughs> right, hello YouTube. This is Bossatron or Gabe speaking. And first thing is first, I would like to give a massive, massive thank you to Insomulus and to Weagle and to Benny Central and to Hardware Style and to everyone who actually contributed to me being one of the newest members into We the OP. It's honestly, um, it, it's honestly an honor to be included in the same clan as such big names in the YouTube community scene. And I cannot express my gratitude enough. I seriously mean that I'm lost for words. I just got the message 10 minutes ago saying that I got in, I got into We The OP, and it it means it means so much to a channel of my size, and it means so much to me that I've been considered by people so much bigger than me. It's just it's just a really good feeling. Uh, so basically, what you're currently watching now is a solo 72 gun streak of mine. It's actually it's my highest solo gun streak. And I'm personally not the kind of guy that only plays solo, or only plays domination, or only only plays search and destroy, or something like that. On my channel, I like to bring a really, really vast variety of almost every single game mode that there is in Black Ops 2. I bring search and destroy gameplays. I some of you might actually recognize my name from <coughs> from the Amp Clan's search and destroy nuclear that got posted on their channel a long while ago. I I post domination, I post multi-team hardpoint, I have a triple nuclear, I play free-for-all, I get, I've got the YouTube's first executioner nuked out, I have, you know, I, <laughs> I think you catch my drift, I play, I like to play all of the game modes, and I like to play with friends on the occasion, and I like to play solo on the occasion, so I like to try and cater to everyone, in a way, and so that way there's a little bit of something for everyone's interests. Alright, so what I wanted to touch on in this commentary was do you remember when you when you first initially got into Call of Duty <clears throat> and say it's your first or your second time ever playing this online game that you don't really know what you're doing you're not very good at it and you got your ass handed you got your ass handed to you absolutely destroyed you you got one kill and you died 40 something times you did didn't you your first time ever playing on a multiplayer online game you're a liar if you didn't because i personally did as well and I remember when this was the case, I don't remember going off, stuff this, I'm, I want to leave. I'm going to leave this game. You know, if the first time you ever play a match of, of tennis, just for an example, and you do really badly, if you're, if you're losing in a competition and you, do you, half, at half time, do you decide, I don't want to, I don't want to finish this game of soccer, I'm just going to quit. Did you think that that was an okay thing? And this, it's this really weak sort of forfeiting mindset. Because in this latest generation of players that are playing on Call of Duty, in my opinion anyway, bad players are leaving the game left, right, and center. It is actually unbelievable how many more people rage quit in Black Ops 2 in comparison to like something like COD 4 or Modern Warfare 2. And there's a couple of reasons for this. Obviously, there's things like the massively, massively overpowered kill streaks, like the swarms and the dogs, which you can almost do nothing to prevent dying from. And then there's something like the VSAT, which gives the enemy team an om almost omnipotent, all-knowing force of where you are and just instantly turns the enemy team into three times better players than they actually are. And so there's that. That is definitely a, a very big factor. That's definitely a very contributive factor to the reason why people that people are leaving games so much in Black Ops 2. But I also feel as though there's something else in the mix there as well. It's like people are losing motivation to improve in a way. People are always watching YouTube and they're always watching people do exceptionally well and so then they go into games and they expect themselves to do as well just because they've seen someone else do well and YouTube has become a huge part of Call of Duty and it's a good thing it's a really good thing in a way the way that we can all improve off each other's abilities we can all cover each other's weaknesses we can all contribute and we can all share and we can, and we can make friends and we can have fun and enjoy and enjoy Call of Duty on another level. I think YouTube is a really fantastic thing. But, however, there's this sort of aspiring mindset of people that people have, I feel, in this latest game that to do well, you need to, like, find bad enemies. And it's... And 
it's gotten to this point where almost everyone that I know that plays this game has this mindset that if if someone's doing slightly better than them, even remotely better than them, they'll leave because they have to be versing worse enemies. Everyone has to be versing someone lesser, someone less capable than them in order for them to have fun. And I and it's and it's kind of saddening in a way. And I just I just feel like it's gotten a bit out of hand in this Call of Duty and we all really need to make an effort and all ourselves make an effort to not be leaving games as much or else Call of Duty Ghosts gameplays are not going to last. But how do you guys feel? How how many people leave your games in this game? I I personally have heard multiple people call it Rage Ops 2, Rage Crit Ops 2, Two Enemies Ops 2. Because honestly, about 80% of the games that a lot of people play, and some of the reasons why things like the 300 plus and the quad nuclear are so hard and so hard to achieve is solely because people don't stay for games. So yeah, if you guys could share me down in the comment section below how you feel, how many people leave your games, how often do you find yourself left with two enemies being bored out of your mind? But yeah, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy my gameplay or my commentary, please do come check out my channel. Uh, remember to leave a like rating for We The OP. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care and goodbye.